It's not just about dropping that ballot in the box. It's about informing Canadians about what's really going on. Did you know that most Canadians don't realize that apartheid was created out of, out of the reserve system after we signed treaties? The apartheid system in South Africa was modeled after the Indian Act in Canada. That's a shame. It's time. It's time for us to stand up. It's time for us to take authority. You know, I'll leave you with this last note. When I came here, I saw Michelle Odette. Where's Michelle? Hey, strong women leadership. That's what it's about. We are the authority in this country. The under fabric of Canada's constitution are the treaties. If the treaties are broken, the original agreements are nullified. We are the authority. And we need to start taking authority. And what I saw was a vision. What I saw, like on a job site, you see all these white hats. The white hat represents authority. We are the authority in this country. It's time for us to secure our rightful place. It's time for us to secure a future for our children. It's time to stand up and tell Canada enough's enough. Miigwech. Donc je vais inviter Ghislain Picard, chef régional de l'Assemblée des Premières Nations du Québec et du Labrador. On l'applaudit! Oui, notre métier minette, ni j'en droite, ni j'en ai deux. Je vous regarde de nom, notre métier, Marc. Je me snack comme de nom, notre métier, qui fait si... My turn to uh, certainly acknowledge the Mohawk Nation and the chiefs on the Mohawk Nation for having us today on their traditional territory in order to have this uh, very, very significant uh, march and action. Uh, this is not my first protest. This is not my first rally. This is not my first march. But I'm hoping this is the last one. Écoutez, yeah. extrêmement important pour nous de se rassembler aujourd'hui et j'aimerais, euh, de toute évidence, comme plusieurs autres l'ont fait, reconnaître la nation Mohawk qui nous reçoit aujourd'hui et euh, qui pose avec nous un geste extrêmement euh, symbolique, euh, non seulement symbolique, mais un geste qui est porteur d'espoir. Je ne sais pas si c'est la même chose pour vous, mais pour moi, ça fait plusieurs, participa plusieurs participations que j'assure à des manifestations, à des ralliements, à des marches, pour toutes les causes possibles qui interpellent nos communautés. Et j'espère que c'est la dernière fois qu'on a à marcher. This, is, has, this has become a way of life. When we're not listened to, when we're not heard, heard then we take our issues to the street. And this has to stop. Il faut que ça arrête, il faut que ça change. L'intention aujourd'hui, c'est vraiment faire la démonstration que ce n'est pas une question de savoir si Gislaine Picard va voter ou non. C'est une question de savoir où se situe l'obligation du gouvernement, où se situe l'obligation de l'État. It's not a matter of whether I vote or not on October 19. It's a matter of every Canadian knowing where the obligation of the government and the state of Canada lies. It finds itself in the history, in the common history that we have. It lies in the constitution of this country. And more and more, that obligation is confirmed by their own courts. So I don't think it's a matter of any government once they're elected on October 19 for them to turn away. I think it's important for them to recognize that they have those obligations and deliver. Our people don't deserve less than that. Je pense que c'est important de faire connaître à tous les partis, quelle que soit leur couleur, que l'obligation se situe à ce niveau, qu'il est important pour ces partis, indépendamment qui forme le gouvernement le 19 octobre prochain, qu'ils ont à livrer quelque chose à nos peuples. Parce qu'on est tanné de marcher. On est tanné de faire appel à la communauté internationale pour faire valoir nos droits. On est tanné de critiquer les gouvernements canadiens successifs. 
qui, fa qui faillissent à leurs obligations en matière de droits humains pour euh, nos pays. The Walk Today, la marche aujourd'hui, a été la plus courte à laquelle j'ai participé. This, this has been the shortest walk that I've taken in the many walks that I've participated in. If nothing happens, comes October 20th, then the next walk is going to be longer. And the ones after that are going to be longer. This is a signal for us today. This is the symbol that we uh, show to all Canadians. And, and to me, we have that obligation. We can't let our hands down. We cannot let our, our guard down. I think our, the lives of our peoples is too important. In 25 years, our population will double. And we have to care for those that are yet unborn. This is the obligation that we have. This is a duty that we have as nations, as First Nations. Donc, encore une fois, en terminant, je veux aussi euh, faire appel euh, à la communauté non autochtone. Toutes les organisations qui pourraient être représentées ici aujourd'hui. D'abord, merci beaucoup pour votre présence. Et je sais et je suis convaincu, nos nations sont convaincues, qu'elles peuvent compter sur vous pour la suite des choses. On va faire appel à vous dans la mesure où les gouvernements qui se succéderont, le gouvernement qui sera là le 20 octobre prochain, ne sera pas à l'écoute de, de nos revendications et de nos attentes comme peuple. Je me suis comme un nom, en terminant, merci à tous, thank you very much to all. So as we are on Mohawk lands, I would like to invite Ganan Sohon Deer from Ganawage, one of our fate keepers of the Longhouse, to speak a few words. I just like to welcome each and every one of you here today. From the beginning of time, we acknowledge Mother Earth because she still continues to do her ancient duty. When I did this gesture, that was the way our people acknowledged each other historically in the friendship treaty belt. Then when we talked about a relationship, we talked about what would be in the white man's boat, what would be in our canoe, and how we would polish that relationship so we would remain as brothers and sisters. But what has happened is the colonial powers have decided that they would be here and we would be down here. But this treaty says that we would resurrect one day and I'm just going to share one thing quickly with you. Part of the leadership of the Iroquois Confederacy in May of 1990, we initiated a sacred ceremony and we asked for divine spiritual intervention from the prophet Peacemaker where he was born in Tyendinaga. And when we did that ceremony in May of 1990, and you can track it, you're going to see that the resurrection is here and the spiritual knowledge of this wisdom is resurrecting and we, the Aboriginal people, are going to be the ones that's going to shine that light to show our brothers and sisters that came across the salt water how to live in harmony with Mother Earth, how to live in peace, and how to have the thinking and the knowledge for those future generations because we're in a time now where this has to be because if we keep going at the rate that we're going, then it's going to be sad because look at what's happening to the natural world. And one final thing, in order to make change, we have to understand the monetary system because it's that that is keeping us as economic slaves. And he asked if I could just say a little closing, so now I'm going to do it in my own way. Oh, no, 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 no,
Uh, so just a mention for uh, media that would want to speak to any of the chiefs that spoke today, uh, you will be able to do so just behind the tent right here. Donc juste pour euh, faire une mention aux médias qui voudraient discuter avec euh, les membres des chefs qui ont parlé aujourd'hui, vous allez pouvoir le faire derrière la tente ici. Uh, for everybody else, thanks for coming out. Neilwen, merci à tous qui sont sortis. J'espère que tout ce qui a été dit par les chefs va rester dans vos cœurs pour les prochains temps. Et on peut s'attendre et on peut espérer que les électeurs québécois, canadiens vont entendre notre appel aussi. Thank you everybody and I hope that all the, the words that our chiefs have spoken will stay with you for the next coming days and I hope the, the Canadian electorate and new government will also hear our voices. Have a good day!